My name is Javier Baez, director of Spanish .com. Today we're going to learn sentence structure in Spanish. Okay, so I have here a picture of what a sentence should be like in Spanish and actually in any language. You will always have three elements and I drew a staircase to show you the two dimensions so you can see it better. The first part of a sentence is always a subject. In this case, we're going to use the person I or yo in Spanish. The subject is kind of like the sender. Huh? The second part is the verb or the message. In Spanish, we actually have three kinds of verbs or messages. The ones that end in AR, ER, or IR. For example here, hablar, to speak, is an AR verb. Okay, so we have the subject or the sender, the verb or the message. So the sender sends the message. And at the bottom we have the object, in this case it's Espanol or Spanish, is the receiver. Okay? So what happens when you put together a sentence in Spanish is you have to have your subject, in this case yo, and then you place your verb. So when you place your verb in the sentence, you need to get rid of the ending. Okay, so that part that is remaining after you take the ending away is called base. So you take away the ending and keep your base, put it down there. And now the ending needs to be replaced with another ending. In the case of yo, 99.9% .9 of the time in Spanish is replaced with the letter O. So you end up with yo, hablo, español. Now we're going to do some more examples in the next video. Gracias.